There has been a lighthouse in Mumble, Swansea since 1794, guiding the vessels along the coast and into Swansea Bay. In 1883, the two daughters of the lighthouse keeper Abraham Ace, Jesse Ace and Margaret Wright Knee Ace, carried out a heroic rescue. On the 27th of January 1883, an 885-tonne German bark named Admiral Prince Adalbert of Danzig was caught in a storm at Mumbles Head and wrecked just below the lighthouse. The Mumbles lifeboat came to rescue the crew, and when the lifeboat, a wooden sailboat named the Wolverhampton, got into trouble, Jesse Ace and Margaret Wright waded into the surf to rescue the lifeboat crew. They tied their shawls together to use as a rope and rescued two of the lifeboat crewmen who had fallen overboard. It is reported that Margaret Wright cried, I will lose my life than let these men drown as she waded into the icy waters. Their father confirmed the actions of his daughters alongside those of gunner Edward Hutchings in rescuing two crew members from the ship at an inquest into the disaster. Four of the Wolverhampton crew died that night, leaving four widows and 14 orphaned children. The same storm also wrecked two other ships, Agnes Jack and James Gray, claiming 44 lives. While the Royal National Lifeboat Institution awarded a silver medal and £50 to the coxswain of the lifeboat who had aided the women in the rescue, and issued a commendation on vellum to Hutchings, it did not officially recognise the sisters' role. Augusta of Saxe-Weimar Eisenach, the Empress of Germany, awarded the sisters gold brooches for looking after the bark's crew. The women gained international fame when they were featured on the front page illustration of the graphic of February 1883. Jessie's brooch is now in the possession of her great-great-granddaughter in Australia. A poem was written by Clement Scott in tribute to the brave women, and the following is part of that poem. There by the rocks, on the breakers these sisters, hand in hand, beheld once more that desperate man who struggled to reach the land. T'was only aid he wanted to help him cross the wave, but what are a couple of women with only a man to save? What are a couple of women? Well, more than three craven men who stood by the shore with chattering teeth, refusing to stir and then. Off went the women shawl, sir. In a second, they're torn and rent. Then knotting them into a rope of love, straight into the sea they went. Come back, cried the lighthouse keeper. For God's sake, girls, come back as they caught the waves on their foreheads, resisting the fierce attack. Come back, moaned the grey-haired mother as she stood by the angry sea. If the waves take you, my darlings, there's nobody left to me. Come back, said the three strong soldiers, who still stood faint and pale. You will drown if you face the breakers, you will fall if you brave the gale. Come back, said the girls. We will not. Go tell it to all the town. We'll lose our lives, God willing, before that man shall drown. Give one more knot to the shawls, Bess. Give one strong clutch of your hand. Just follow me brave to the shingle, and we'll drag him safe to land. Wait for the next wave, darling. Only a minute more, and I'll have him safe in my arms, dear and we'll drag him safe to shore. Up to their arms in water, fighting it breast to breast, they caught and saved a brother alive. God bless us, you know the rest. Well, many a heart beat stronger, and many a tear was shed, and many a glass was tossed right off to the women of Mumble's head. In 2016, a blue plaque was placed on a wall at Mumbles Pier to honour brave Jessie and Margaret.